welcome to Crafted & Company. It's Heidi again, and today I have a fun thrift haul video. <sighs> okay, so it's going to be a rather large video, or I should say a rather large haul, because, because it is a compilation of a few different places and days of thrifting. But I, uh, to be honest, I a couple weeks ago I did a thrift haul video, and well, I've been really sick, and I don't want to go on to this long spiel about my illness. But I've been sick basically since December. I've been on antibiotics four different rounds, and because I got well. And then I got sick again, and it's just been an icky winter. I am finally feeling great. Through that video and editing that video, I had to cut out a million different coughs. And I was coughing through the whole thing, sucking on a cough drop, and oh my gosh, it was horrible. By the time I cut everything out, I ended up having to do a voiceover to explain why some things just didn't make sense. <laughs> and it was a mess, so I just was like, you know what, I'm going to delete this video and I'm going to completely start over once I'm well. In the meantime, I have picked up a few other things. And so I want to share those things with you too. So it turned out that, you know, now I have a bigger haul. But I got some amazing things for amazing prices and I just want to share everything with you guys. Some of it's to keep for myself for home decorating projects I'm getting ready to do. It's always nice to add new pieces to your decor and so it's fun. I enjoy it. I've gotten some cool pieces for some upcoming decorating videos that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So I'm super excited about that. And then I got a few things to resell. Um, I won't get into that, but let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with this vintage false graph. There's the embossment there. And for anyone who watches my videos knows I collect false graph. I will insert a picture here. And um, I paid a dollar for this. Um, I'm not selling it, but I did get on eBay just to kind of see what it's going for. And it's going for like, I don't know, 22-ish, depending. Some people run auctions on these things and you know, some people can get them for like 14, 15. Um, but this bowl here is um, worth about 22. So yeah. I don't know that I have, do I? I think I do have one this size. Yeah, but you can never have too many serving bowls, right? So I was excited to find this and only for a dollar. Oh, and false graph for those of you who don't know is um, ironstone. So this is very durable and that's why there's probably so much of it still around. Okay. All right, so then I got this throw and it's like a navy blue and like a bone white, I would say, stripe. But I love that and I could like totally decorate that or throw it over my couch, whatever. But it totally goes with my like coastal seaside theme. I don't like to think of it as farmhouse. I like to think of it as like seaside coastal, maybe coastal farmhouse or kind of like a seaside cottagey feel. I don't know because I'm really not farmhouse, but I like vintage and antique stuff incorporated with my decor. So those of you who have been watching my videos probably kind of I hope get that vibe. <laughs> but anyway, I paid $5.50 for this. 
and um, I don't know the brand. It doesn't have like any tags or anything on it, I don't think. No, but it's cool. It's even got like this edge. It's a finished edge, but it's like frayed. Oh yeah, they cut the tag off. But anyway, I just want to decorate with this and I just thought it was super cool. And you know, it would have been more than, it feels like really good quality. And I couldn't have bought it in a store for $5.50, so I got that. And then I picked up this basket and it was $2. So yesterday I got these three things. I said I wasn't going to go in any order and I'm really not, but they were like the first thing I grabbed. And um, I spent $9 and some odd, 16 cents, I think, on this stuff. All I'm keeping. But I thought this basket was really nice and I'm getting ready to redo my laundry room. So I'm looking for baskets and stuff like this that I can um, store things in on the shelves. Okay, now I'm going to, I will say I probably did get most of this stuff at Helping Hands because their prices are so amazing. Okay, so I got this beautiful cake plate. Look at the detail. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But it's got like beautiful like scrolling and gorgeous. And I paid um, $2 for this. And it is made in Portugal. Surrey art. Part of the name is like off. I don't know if it's. C-E-R-I-A-R-T. Looks like maybe that could have been a C. I don't know. I haven't looked up like the value of it or anything. I just thought it was really beautiful. I thought that would be really sweet on there on my dining room table at Easter. So yeah. Keeping this. Okay. So, um, this is not a big deal, but my daughter's been looking... My oldest actually has been looking for a bottle for the gym. And this is that TAL brand. And it's in beautiful condition. It's got the straw, be per the handle, everything perfect for her to have at the gym. She, it's not that she can't buy her own by any means, but she just doesn't think about it. You know, that's not what's on her mind when she's out shopping. And, um, but I, I happened to find it and I paid a dollar for it or maybe 99 cents. Same thing, right? So anyway, got that for her. I got this hydro flask. It is the 21 ounce. It's just got the screw off lid, but you know, you can buy those different ones. And I got that and I was possibly going to resell it. Um, but then my daughter, Allie, who's the baby, she's 19. She's like, Ooh, I think I want that. <laughs> so right now it's kind of like, okay, so far she hasn't used it. It's been in the house for a couple weeks, so we'll see. But this is in brand new condition. No dents, no scratches. Um, even the tag on the bottom looks like it's never been washed. Well, except for I washed it and I didn't take that off. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I paid 99 cents for it. So I thought that was amazing because these things for the 21 ounce, I'm not sure exactly what they cost brand new. Some of you might know, but I'll post a um, picture here um, of the actual price for this one. 
And I'll do that for this one too. Just, it's fun. It's fun to actually visually see exactly how much money you saved. Okay, so then we'll keep it moving. Also at Helping Hands, I got these two solid brass candle sticks, or a candle, what are they, candle holders. Made in India solid brass, so there's a sticker on the bottom. I paid a dollar fifty each on these and I love the patina like I won't polish these and I love that they look old and I love that so I'm gonna leave them rusty and crusty but yeah super cool pick up there and that was helping hands so those were three dollars total then I got this and they had like five of them maybe six and honestly this was three dollars and fifty cents it's like an old um, antique brass like you uh, bed post knob or whatever you call them so that was originally on like a bed post but it's got really cool patina on it I tried to grab the one with like the most that looked the oldest and um, but yeah solid brass man this thing is heavy 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 and honestly I probably should have grabbed them all but I didn't. I just thought this would look so cute, like on a stack of books, like make a cute little vignette, take some old antique or, you know, vintage books and do a cute little vignette with like this and maybe a plant on some, I don't know. Cute though. Love it. Beautiful. Okay. So if you guys watched my previous haul video, which is the last video I uploaded, um, <clears throat> I had two straw purses, two straw bags I showed, and, uh, this is actually from the Goodwill, and I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get it. I did pay $4.95 for it, but you guys, can you see this, like, hanging on a hook with some beautiful, like, greenery and maybe, like, a, a, th uh, a small, like, throw or something hanging out of it I could even like you could even like set it on the floor or something too like in a little vignette on the floor it's got the it's not it's kind of dirty and you can tell someone definitely used it it's got like um a cream colored you know in cloth insert or lining I, no brand on here, but I was so happy to find this. It definitely, I like it better than the other two I found before. <laughs> but those were nice too. Those were nice too, but I love this one better. The only thing that is better about the other two is that they have like long handles, like, you know, longer handles. But I love this. So cute. Again, Goodwill, $4.95. Okay, I'm just kind of going in order as I have stuff kind of lined up next to me. Okay. I love this. I absolutely love this. I paid $1.84 at Goodwill. And I love to do accents of copper in my kitchen. Um, I've been more recently pick finding copper pieces and adding them here and there. And... It just looks so good. It's been sitting on my counter. I really need to like empty it because there is peppercorns in here. Um, and I need to like wash it because definitely needs a good wash in. And then I'll put my own peppercorns in here. But um, it looks so good with my stuff on my kitchen counter. So I'm so excited about this. Yeah. 
but I wish I would have found the salt one too, but they just had the pepper one. I wonder if someone else bought it or who knows? You never know. Sometimes they put stuff out and like they hadn't, they didn't put both out or I don't know. I looked around. I didn't see, I didn't see any other one, but anyway, I was happy to find this. I love it. And, um, this is the Dash Express Egg Cooker, new in box. Um, I looked it up and they're kind of all over the place in pricing. People are paying anywhere from, gosh, $8 all the way up to almost $30 for this thing. Um, this one holds seven eggs and uh, makes hard boiled, soft boiled, poached and omelets. So I haven't really gotten into it, but I actually, um, at first I thought, you know what, oh, that'd be, you know, good to resell. I paid $5.60 for it. Now, that is kind of up there. I would, I feel like I would need to at least ask $25 to make it anything worth it. But you know what, for $5.60, I think I'm going to keep it, um, and I showed my daughter, and she was kind of excited about it, too. So, yeah. New in box, $5.60. Now, that's a good deal, especially for personal use. I am all thumbs today. Okay. So, at Helping Hands, I found this Le Creuset, and it's a number 32. I have not looked up comps for it yet, but it's really clean. I paid $3.50 for it. And I need to run comps on it and find out exactly. It's so heavy. I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's metal. Like, like an enamel. I think it's like enamel over metal. Because that looks like metal to me. I think it's vintage so cool and for three dollars and fifty cents but I will do my homework before I upload this video so the comps for this will be right here and again three dollars and fifty cents and I'm sure it was worth my money and I am reselling this so this is my first piece I think that I'm actually <laughs> reselling that I'm showing you guys <laughs> This is the um, Temptations um, teapot. I suppose it, or coffee pot, teapot, coffee pot. Um, these are selling for about like, I think I saw one for like $34.95 for just this teapot. I paid $3.50 for it. I haven't washed it or anything yet. Definitely needs a good bath. Soak in some good old scalding hot water. You can tell it's been sitting on a shelf somewhere. Then I got the matching, like, I suppose you could keep your tea bags in there, or your coffee. This was $3.50. I did not run comps on it. But I went ahead and I just, um, I went ahead and I just grabbed all the pieces they had because um, I'll show you. So this is Temptations, um, Presentable Ovenware by Tara. Made for USA Inc. Old World. Yeah, but made in China. But still, going for some decent money. Like I said, I'll have to check on that canister. Let's keep things moving along. Okay, and then this little bowl, which honestly, I have no idea what this bowl is for. But I mean, it, it goes. And it was $1. 
And then this little like sugar bowl maybe, $1.50. This might be a sugar bowl. Maybe, maybe that's salt. Sugar. Two dollars for this I paid. So, um, really for everything, seven, eight, nine, ten. This was fifty cents, I think. So twelve dollars for everything, but I mean I could make my money back on one thing and still and and profit, and then so you could have like little. It's like I think this is more like a cappuccino. Um, cappuccino style mug but anyway so that is a popular print and um they it also comes in blue which i love the blue but i'm more of a blue girl i love the navy blues the cobalt blues um but yeah so that is that okay and this is an um okay this is an interesting little piece it's made in spain I will post a clear picture of it. Um, it is a Masquinerdo or something by Rio. Made in Spain. It's got 18 and 24 karat gold um, inlay. Like those chunks of gold, that's all gold, that's all real gold. Really neat, really pretty. And I saw some of these plates going for some really crazy, crazy prices. It's footed, this little tray, little plate. And this is only like four inches. But I'm telling you right now, this is worth some money. I paid a dollar for this and people collect this. So I thought it was pretty cool. I'm not gonna list it for like a crazy amount, but that is definitely to resell. Okay, round two. <laughs> and then there's gonna be a round three. <laughs> and then that's it. Oh boy. Okay, so first I just wanna show you guys this. <clears throat> this is a Our Table double burner reversible grill and griddle it is a pre-seasoned cast iron double burner reversible grill pre-seasoned which i already said that pre-seasoned i didn't say that okay anyway it looked when i was at i got this at goodwill and i've been wanting one of these and when um, a car, a new cart came out and they had this and then um, you could tell somebody donated their wedding gifts because there was like this gold and white striped paper on one of the boxes. And um, it was like a fajita set with like the wood pallet thingies or whatever, like plates that you set the hot skillet on. And it had like silicone, you know, handles to put. Oh my gosh. I wanted it. I did. And I had it in my car and I was almost going to buy it. But then I saw this and I was like, I don't need both of those things. I really don't. So which one would I use more? And I'm like, I think I would use this more. Because I can cook my steaks on it. Right? I could cook chicken breasts on it. There's a lot I can cook on this, uh, burgers, um, vegetables, kebabs, like they show here. So I was so excited. It still had the plastic wrap. It had never been opened. It was brand new. Originally came from Bed Bath & Beyond. 
Yep. And I don't know, I didn't look it up to see how much it originally cost, but I will, I will do that and I will put a comp here. So I was tickled to find this, so excited. I paid $9.31. But for something like this, um, I thought was a good deal for brand new. Um, I was in there a couple days ago and I since I bought this and I saw two used ones and they were going for about the same price, which is crazy. But I'm glad I got mine new. Okay, so that is that. Okay, back to Helping Hands. I got this cool Lazy Susan. And it has like, you can tell someone used it as like um, a project, like to paint, I think like, there's some paint on it. And it looks like maybe somebody um, put like something on it to paint and then turned it around to, um, you know, paint it. And that could be exactly what this is. But super old, vintage, and I can sand that paint off. There's orange, white, and red paint on there. But yeah, I thought that was cool. So I can definitely use this and get it cleaned up. And I paid $3 for that. Then I got this at the Helping Hands. This wooden box. It's like oak. And it's a dollar. It was a dollar. I thought that was a really good deal. Um, I can replace the knob on it, put something else on it. I can sand this, restain it, paint it, do something cool. I thought maybe I could use it like for Milo's treats or something. So cool. I wish they would add more of them. Okay. Who wants breakfast in bed? Okay. I love this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Definitely vintage. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it yet. Who knows? Maybe it'll be in like an up and coming, you know video or something I'm not sure or will I just clean it up and use it just like it is I have no idea I paid three dollars for it so I thought it was a pretty good deal I do already have a tray on my bed um, but it is just a flat tray it doesn't have like this you know um, but I you know it's always fun to switch up decor I won't probably get rid of my other tray but to switch it out and just do something different for a while um, I just don't know if I'll paint that or keep it as is. I don't know. What do you guys think? So that was at Helping Hands. And then this I got at Goodwill for $1.84. And I can paint that, stain that, put hardware, you know, put handles on it. Um, lots I could do with that. But I thought, you know, for a naked wood piece, $1.84, I thought that was pretty decent. So yeah, do something with this. Then I found this Lanzen purse. It is a shoulder bag, navy blue. It is um, in really good condition. It's got like this little key clip thing so you won't lose your keys. It's got some different pockets in here for like um, your phone, a pen, whatever. And then it's got a pocket on the back. So yeah, I will probably resell that. I thought that was nice. And there weren't any comps that I could find of this exact thing sold or listed. So I don't know, I paid $3 for it. So I could maybe ask 20. And then I got, um, tis the season for golf. I got this polo um, men's golf shirt to resell. This Adidas, men's Adidas golf shirt. Um, says Adidas golf. 
and it's got like a checkered it's not like a solid gray if you see up close um you can see it's got like little diamond checkers all over it and then i found this tommy bahama golf shirt it's got the black on black swordfish wooden buttons really nice I thought this was nice. So three shirts to resell. I'm not, I've never, I've only listed clothes like literally. I think I had one pair of pants on my, in my eBay store. I've never really, I've, I've sold some bras, some nice Victoria's Secret bras and some other ones, but I don't typically list clothes even though I bought them. I never have posted them. I literally have a tote, but full of clothes to sell, but I don't normally pick up clothes to sew. But anyway, I found this toward top. And I thought was summer coming in the spring. It's got like embroidery there. This pretty embroidered on the front. Um, it's got a fabric covered button. But Torrid is definitely a good brand to pick up. It sells. Um, not from personal experience because I just said I don't sell clothes, but I have watched other um, resellers who say Tor does very well for them. Round three. Okay. So, um, all of this stuff I'm about to show you is keep, keep. Okay. Um, first, we'll start off with this adorable bunny plate. I paid a dollar for it. It is a Pier 1 import Sophie the Bunny and I just love the colors. I love, love, love this plate. The blue is so pretty. The butterfly, the little cherries or berries. Oh my gosh. The yellow flowers, the color of the bunny. The Oh my gosh. I love this plate actually makes me want to collect them and this plate actually sells for decent money um i was surprised uh you know what i guess you know pier one imports is not around anymore i think they went out of business altogether i know we don't have ours anymore but anyway i thought a dollar was like a really really good um price for this I wish they would have had more. I really do. So cute. Okay. Then I am so excited about this. You know, I talked about how I'm trying to incorporate more copper into my kitchen. I have been um, on the lookout for one of these. I don't know. I think I saw it in a search um, because I had found some of these, uh, but in other shapes. <laughs> and... Um, so I happened to see a lobster and loved it and thought, oh, I'll never find one of these in the wild. And I was so excited when I did. I love the patina it has on it. Love it. And I feel like those other ones, you know, we see are, you know, more of that kind of like that vintage tin. Looks like copper, but it's a little on the pinker side. And it just doesn't have not, you know, most of the ones you see don't have that patina on them. But this does, and I'm going to leave it. I'm not cleaning it or doing anything to it. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to hang it in my kitchen. And uh, so excited. Yeah. Ah, love it. Okay. Um, oh, how much did I pay for this? It was $1.84 at Goodwill. Good job, Goodwill. Okay, next we have a Homer Laughlin coffee pot. And I absolutely love this. So it is not um, false craft, of course. And I do not collect Homer Laughlin, but... I have had the I have had the worst time trying to find a coffee pot, a false craft heritage white coffee pot. 
I got the picture, the, the, the picture, I got that. Oh, that was a fun find. But I have struggled to find the coffee pot. So when I saw this in Helping Hands for $2, I thought, you know what? I am going to just pick this up. And Homer Laughlin, this, I mean, they make all kinds of different styles, of course, like Faultscraft does. But I guess this would be their plain white traditional um, design, like the vintage white hair or the heritage white, you know, is like bald scraps, you know. So anyway, it's going to go with my stuff until I actually find one in the wild because that's what I'm waiting for. I will eventually find it in the wild. Um, if you look at and I'll insert a picture here. The difference um, in the lids, and this is ironstone as well, but they have kind of like the same design and with the lines coming down. The only difference is false graph is round and they took theirs, you know, straight like that around their edges. Um, kind of like the false graph plates. So for $2, I was super tickled to pick this up. So happy. It'll, I, it, I, I will gladly incorporate this with my fall scrap for now. I just wanted a teapot. Okay, so since I kind of showed you my plates, um, I have been wanting to get rid of my other white plate set. I, I always said if I found a good stack of the false graph white heritage um, in good condition, that I would pick it up. I have two in my dishwasher because we I have washed these and I've been using them. But they all look like this. And they're in excellent condition. They probably just sat in someone's china cabinet or something never used or rarely used and i paid 50 cents a plate at helping hands and i got i think eight plate yeah i got eight plates um so i'll be donating my other sets um i think i had 12 plates on the other and i'll keep and i, I I have a whole stack of eight of these, so I totally actually, I actually have 16. Um, but those are in my china cabinet and I just wanted some that were easily accessible. So if, actually if, you know, cause I have a bigger family, if I need to get more out, I can just grab them out of my china cabinet, but these are for daily use. And then um, I didn't have, any smaller plates and these are just the bread plates if I ever I, I do have the um, salad plates in my collection um, but if I ever come across the salad plates for personal like every day not personal it's all personal but if I ever come across the salad plates for daily um, use then I'll incorporate these but I only got like I think six of these but I think I have I have so many different plates. I'm sure I have eight. I think I have four bread plates on in my hutch that is not in addition to the dinnerware set. So I have like a complete eight piece dinnerware set, bowls, plates, salad, bread, plates, all of it. It's like a I have a whole complete set, you know, service for eight. So yeah, so these were 50 cents. So that was like my big splurge that day, honestly. So I paid $4 for my dinner plates and I paid $3 for my bread plates. <clears throat> so again, I'm keep keeping those. They've already been in my cupboard. Um, while we're on the topic of fault scrap, um, I grabbed this gravy boat for a dollar there at the Helping Hands. Um, I have a gravy boat uh, plate um, that in addition to what I already have. So I actually have a total now of three gravy boats. <laughs> um, but uh, I would, I'm would i probably going to sell two of them. It's just hard to not pick that stuff up. But I've been really good about it lately because lately I've been coming across the sugar and creamer, 
constantly. I passed up on a salt and pepper. I couldn't believe it, but I did. And I've been passing up on the gravy boats. And then their standard mug, I'll show a picture here of what that looks like. Um, I would say that's like their standard like teacup, coffee cup that I would say vintage wise, most people probably got those in the 60s um, when this came out because the Heritage Vault Scrap, I think was launched and started production in 1963, I think. And it is still in production today. It's one of the only fault scarf patterns that is still in production today from 1963. So this is timeless. It'll live forever. Everyone still loves the white heritage. I love it. I love the vintage um, to, in my opinion. Okay. Now it's made overseas in China and all of these are made in the USA and so yeah, I think that's what I love most, if I'm being a thousand percent honest, is that this is made in the USA. And the quality of this versus the quality of false graph now, I hate to take anything away from it, but it's just not there. It's not as good. And now they just have like a, you know, ink stamp on the bottom. But these are embossed. So anyway, that's my spiel about false graph. <laughs> but so I have the plate to go with this and I now I can sell it like together so that's that then I'm always picking up these guys when I see them I absolutely think they're adorable I have four now three white ones and like a brown pottery one but I'm gonna always pick them up so cute love 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 I just can't pass them up. Like when I see one, I got to pick it up. It's an addiction. Okay. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We are almost done. Okay. Um, I got these two little packs of vintage bracelets. This looks like it's maybe brass. I don't know, but I love it. And it's got... A wooden bracelet with it that actually kind of looks good together and then um, these have that what is it alabaster shell or whatever and set into them and then I don't know if that's shells this one here or if it's just like wooden beads maybe it's like a shell I don't know and then another vintage wooden bracelet so I love those and I will um, probably resell them just because they're so neat. Who knows? I don't really sell jewelry, but I thought maybe I might start getting into it. But if not, I have some cool new bracelets. Okay. At, also at Helping Hands. Oh, did I say I paid... A dollar for each little bundle. I think I did. I think I did. But yeah, each little bundle was a dollar. So I thought it was a good deal. Okay, I got these vintage books. And this one's cute. It's the boat of longing and it's got a little ship on it. <laughs> but it's my, you know, my blues. So I love, look how good that looks. On, a, on like a bookshelf. Love it. And then we have, um, look at those edges. So you could also do your books like that. Look at that one. Look how old those look. Love it. Anyway, I love vintage books. I absolutely love decorating with them. They make the cutest vignettes like on a shelf or on your dresser or table or they just, I love it. So anyway, yep, got these. And I did pay $2 a book, so I have $8 invested in these books. And then I can't forget to show you guys that. I bought that tripod for $4.50. And I had a tripod already, but it, this one is just taller. 
um, by about eight inches or so maybe but anyway thought I would share that too and this so after one day I was out thrifting I decided to go buy my um it's called Two Sisters, and it's like a vintage, uh, kind of like a, a booth mall, so it's, um, or antique booth, so there's whatever, there's craft booths in there, vintage booths in there, they have the coolest, I, I actually talked about it in an older video, and I said one of these days I have to take you guys in there with me, and I really need to film when I'm in there because they have the coolest vintage section with like this cool vintage, I mean, just looks like out of a magazine, right? Like a time capsule right out of the like 50s or 60s. So stinking cool. And anyway, so I got there late in the day and I did a quick run through and um, I wanted to add some cool pieces. Originally, what I'm about to show you I got for my bedroom but the more I I've had it sitting on my hutch this stuff I'm like is there a way I could incorporate this stuff in my dining room because I don't have a lot of seaside kind of stuff in my dining room a little bit but not crazy um, and I thought how cool would it be if I could try to incorporate this stuff in my dining room I was looking at I'm like this stuff looks really good in here so I'm thinking, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm really thinking about it. So I'm gonna get with my decorating mama. She's been sick too, but hopefully she'll be well soon. So I'm telling you, whew, everybody's just passing it along to everybody. And not intentionally, of course. Nobody means to, but uh, hopefully, the weather's turning around and we're all just gonna be well. But anyway, is this not stinking cute? Love it. Rusty and crusty. But it's only made to look rusty and crusty because this was, I think, a Hobby Lobby. Yeah. But an older Hobby Lobby piece, I think. It doesn't look like a newer piece. But it was originally $19.99. I paid $7 for it in a booth from a booth and the other thing I'm going to show you was also in the same booth but these little things kind of come out and then you can take this um, out and um, after because you can take this off and then you can put a candle in there or whatever so it's like a there's a vent chimney it's a straight up little lantern so I thought that was pretty cool so, got that, and then this is, I saved it for last, you guys, because this is, in my opinion, the grand finale, but that's because, you know, I love this stuff. So, to the average person, might not think it's that cool, or might not be as excited as I am about it, but, so also at Two Sisters, I found this. I know. Oh, got it turned around okay this probably also came from Hobby Lobby but I love sailboats I love sailboats and I have already a few in my bedroom and my thought behind originally getting this is oh I'm gonna redo my bedroom and add some new stuff and you know spruce it up but I had this sitting on my hutch and although I can't keep it on my hutch I'm like it looks really good in here what do, how can I incorporate this in my dining room decor? So I'm gonna try to come up with maybe maybe a shelf or something. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, but I think I can do like a really cool shelf with like um, a really neat like little vignette with this. Maybe I can incorporate the lantern on a stack of books, like what I got, like. I don't know, but I'm just feeling a vibe. I'm feeling a vibe with it in the dining room. I just think that would look so cool. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what just yet, but I'm gonna come up with something. So, yeah. So anyway, 
So yeah, that's it. So, oh, I did, um, this doesn't say it came from Hobby Lobby and maybe it didn't, you know, I don't know. The original tag is like all peeled off. It's definitely like a newer modern piece. Um, but I paid 16 for it and it's got the pen striping, you know, on the sails and I don't know, it's the navy and the white and the chippy and oh, I just love it. I just absolutely love this. So I don't know, um, <clears throat> I don't know how much original value it had, but I was okay with paying 16. Um, those were the only two pieces that I found um, there um, that day. And uh, so I was excited. And sometimes I'm, you know, I'm totally okay with paying up on something I really want. As long as I feel like, you know, I'm not being ripped off or there's some value to it. And, you know, it's at least worth that. And I think it is. It's neat. So anyway, guys that is everything that I got and I love everything and I know like out of all of that literally I'm only reselling like the shirts maybe the bracelets there was something else oh the Le Creuset platter just because I have so so many other I have corning wear which I collect too and that's what I bake in so I don't need um, the Le Creuset I don't need to keep that um, so I picked that up to resell oh the Lansend shoulder bag but everything else you guys and I will do a total on the screen because I have not tallied up what I spent but just for fun I will put a total on the screen of the stuff I thrifted and then I'll do like, I mean, we, I mean, this was, um, let's see, 16, this was like 23 plus tax. I think total at my receipt, I think it was like 26 and some change for this stuff. So that's easy to do the math on, um, from two sisters, but I will tally, I will tally a total from everything else in the haul and just let you guys know how much I spent um, and yeah so and then I'll do maybe I'll I don't normally do this in my videos but like I'll do an estimated resale value um, on the stuff I plan on selling like at the end so when I'm editing I'll figure all that out but anyway you guys I got through it I didn't cough one time. Yay! I'm so excited. You guys, oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Oh, man, I must have coughed a hundred times through that other video. So the fact that I didn't cough not even one time, it just lets me know I am feeling better. I'm better. I think I can say I'm better. I think I can say it. I think this last round of the correct antibiotics got me on track again. And I am oh so happy because it's been rough. It's been literally one thing after another this winter since December. And it is March. So I am so excited just to, I'm happy to be feeling well and myself again. I have not filmed hardly. I did that one um, since Christmas or I don't know, after Christmas I did like a packing up my stuff video and then I did another haul video before this one is my last one, but that was pushing it, getting that one done. So, but anyway, um, so good, some fun up and coming videos. Um, so stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed and make sure to hit that notification bell because we don't want you missing any of these fun videos coming up. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.